What are electrolytes? Electrolytes are substances that separate into electrically charged ions in a liquid solution. That's the technical definition. In your body, electrolytes are charged minerals or ions able to transmit electrical impulses. These electrical impulses are how your body communicates or how cells send signals to one another. So it's like your body's own electrical system. Minerals are elements and certain ones are essential or necessary to live. We need them to make this electrical system function properly. Your body is primarily water, so it's a liquid solution. A balance between essential electrolytes and water is essential for cells to function. Specific levels of electrolytes in water is essential for optimal electrical impulses. Water is a polar molecule. It has both negative and positive charges, like a battery. Electrolytes have either a positive charge or a negative charge, based on their composition. Electrolytes have a different number of protons, which have a positive charge, and electrons, which have a negative charge. And depending on which one they have more of, that's how they get classified. Electrolytes that have more protons than electrons are positively charged ions or cations. And the essential cations in our body we see are magnesium, sodium, potassium, and calcium. Electrolytes that have more electrons than protons are negatively charged ions or anions. The essential anions in our body are chloride, phosphate, sulfate, and bicarbonate. So we need all of these electrolytes to live and function properly. What are the primary functions of electrolytes? The primary function is for them to help regulate the pH levels in your body. And since that's such an important function of them, we're going to talk about that briefly and then come back to the individual electrolytes. So what is the pH scale? One of the easiest ways to understand this is to ask, what is the significance of this number, which is 98.6? And if you thought, that's my body temperature, my ideal body temperature, you're correct. And note that it's not necessarily 98.5 or 98.7. It's 98.6. So it's quite specific. And there's another number in your body that your body is constantly adjusting for and that's 7.365, and that's the blood pH, or the pH of your blood. So what is the pH scale? If you've ever seen a pool and wondered, hey, how does that huge body of water maintain a healthy state for people to go in and swim? It's because the water is being maintained at a very specific pH that keeps it in its ideal place, and that's what's happening in your blood as well. So what is the pH scale? It's a measure of acidity or alkalinity of a solution on a scale from 0 to 14. 0 is pure acid, which will burn a hole in anything. And 14 is pure alkaline, the complete opposite, very gentle and mild. So it's a matter of acidity versus alkalinity. The pH scale is from 0 to 14, with 7 in the middle being neutral. The 0 to 7 side is the acid side of the scale. And 7 to 14 is the alkaline, or sometimes called basic or base. The blood pH is the measure of the pH of your blood. So as we said, 7.365 is the very specific number. They actually look for a range between 7.35 and 7.45. So you can see that the blood pH should be slightly alkaline. It's on the alkaline side of the scale. And your body is constantly adjusting to keep it there to maintain the ideal blood pH, something called a state of homeostasis. That's the ideal state where your body is not struggling. Homeostasis. So what are the primary functions of electrolytes? We will look at each one individually, starting with the cations. Magnesium aids in energy production. It reduces inflammation activates critical enzymes in brain, heart, kidneys, bones, nerves, and muscles, which is pretty much your whole body, and it's crucial for 300 plus enzymatic reactions. It's found naturally in avocados, spinach, nuts, and certain fish. Well, that fish was going the wrong way. We'll send him that way. 
Sodium helps maintain blood pressure, keeping the correct volume of water inside and outside of the cells. It's key in nerve transmission, particularly in the muscles and brain. It's found naturally in radishes, celery, and lobster. Potassium helps maintain blood pressure, keeping the correct volume of water inside and outside of the cells. And it's key in nerve transmission, particularly in the muscles and brain. It's also essential for heart health. If you notice that the two points of potassium are the points of sodium, you're very astute. And the point is that sodium and potassium are very closely related. They work together in tandem to perform functions in our body. Specifically, the ideal of maintaining that blood pressure inside and outside of our cells and also their involvement in nerve transmission. Potassium is found naturally in things like bananas, turkey, squash, and potatoes. Calcium builds healthy bones and teeth, is vital for the transmission of nerve impulses, essential for muscle contraction, regulating the heartbeat, which is of course a muscle, and helping blood to clot. Calcium is found naturally in milk products, as I think we all know, but it's also found in leafy greens, fish, and certain grains. Chloride is an anion. It helps maintain proper balance of water in the body. It's part of hydrochloric acid, which is used during digestion. It can accumulate to excess, so it can be dangerous at times. It's found in salt in the form of sodium chloride. It's the chloride component of table salt. It's also found naturally in whole grains, tomatoes, and olives. A phosphate is part of DNA and RNA. DNA and RNA are the, quote, blueprints of who you are, and they're contained in every cell. Phosphate is essential for energy processing. It helps metabolize protein. It also protects the bones and teeth against decay and fractures and is involved in tissue growth and maintenance. It's found naturally in nuts, cheese, and pork. Porky pig. Sulfate helps stabilize specific protein structures in hair, skin, and nails. It's essential in digestion and the creation of biofluid. It improves the absorption of nutrients and helps flush heavy metals and toxins from the body. It's found naturally in eggs, whole grains, nuts and seeds, and crabs. Bicarbonate is a vital component of body's pH buffering system. Whereas all of these electrolytes contribute to maintaining the pH of your body, bicarbonate is specifically, that is its primary function. It's highly alkaline, so it neutralizes acid, and its primary function is to maintain and restore intestinal pH. It's released from your pancreas when your body needs it. So now you know a little bit more about electrolytes. <laughs>